All right, and welcome back to the Sports Lounge as we wrap up our second episode as the Sports Lounge. I hope you've enjoyed the show. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. A reminder, you can watch it not only now, as you have been, but also at 9.30, is that correct? Yes. And also Six and 9.30 yep, on Wednesdays Tuesday. and Tuesdays. Yep, and also noon on Wednesdays, correct? Yes. Noon, 6 and 9.30. It's on the YouTubes. And it's on, on the on, internet. Check us out on YouTube as well. We will post it up there when you need it. Uh, final wrap-up of the show, guys. Uh, um, what are you looking forward to this week? I'm looking forward to the uh, nice little logo that you see on the uh, bottom of your screen. Now it's uh, much improved from last week, so I'm looking forward to that. You can see it right now. I don't know why you don't where think that, where, you can see it. Where the hell to point at? <laughs> yeah, it's over it's down down that way. Every which down way. there. Down by uh, Stacken's feet. But what I'm looking forward to is uh, SDSU seeing if they can uh, sweep this entire week, go four and zero against four teams that they should beat. And kind of their last hurrah at home here before they go on the road. I uh, would like to say a, uh, a melancholy goodbye to one Jack LaLanne. Yes. Uh, 96 years dead? old. <laughs> I, you know, I think it was, I think word was spreading that this guy w was immortal, but in fact uh, died of pneumonia, and that's sad. Uh, he was a man uh, who, who uh, Completed various feats of strength, such as uh, I think I think I, I read that he swam handcuffed. I heard that too. I don't know. From Alcatraz uh, to to like the Golden Gate Bridge or something like that. Pulling a tugboat. Something crazy. Or something like pulling that. some tugboats, handcuffed, <laughs> and then he was quoted as saying afterwards that the most difficult part of it was was being handcuffed, <laughs> which which I think goes without saying. But so. So goodbye to Jack Lalane. Uh, he was he revolutionized uh, fitness. Um, and he's a, he's a real inspiration for me every single day. So next time I do a push-up, it's for Jack LaLanne. Okay. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Pro Bowl. I'm going to make a big oh, day out of it. Get the hell out I'm, uh, I'm going to buy a boatload of lottery tickets, and I'm also going to sponsor a Nigerian prince that day, too, while I'm at it. It's going to be a big day. For the Pro Bowl. I, I don't even know. No, no, no. That was completely I don't even know how to. But yeah, if, if there are any Nigerian princes out there that need the transferred money, you know, just find my right. email and we'll see what we can work out. What Charlie. is it talking about? Saturday. Princes. <laughs> what I'm looking for Saturday, noon central, Purdue hosting Minnesota in basketball. Can the Gophers win on the road? Prediction. I don't know. I'm going to say the Gophers lose by 10. Good. But we'll go and see. I'm from Minnesota, so I hope that happens. That's the biggest thing. Looking forward to this weekend and the wild recent success on the road. Can they continue it this week and then at home fighting for that eighth spot in the NHL? Well, we hope that you have enjoyed the show. Again, we will be back next week for our normal schedule time. Possible here. guest. And a possible guest, yes. So you have that to look forward to. You've we been watching the Sports Lounge. Have a good night and a good day, and we'll see you next week. Yeah.